Rick Hickory owns this property. The city of Winnipeg owns the boulevard. There's even a fence that divides the two properties. Now, there's a city of Winnipeg bylaw that is forcing Hickory to mow this grass, something he refuses to do. Now he's going to go to court to fight the bylaw, arguing no one should be forced to do any work for free. Not only do I maintain this, uh, I have to pick up trash, uh, such as somebody's dirty apple. I'm supposed to clean that. Uh, I'm supposed to cut all this grass all the way down my entire house. Those are the rules according to the city bylaws, but it wasn't always that way. Uh, when we moved in, there was no such uh, law in place. Hike Away moved in in 2006, and the city cut the boulevard, which contains a cable box, mailbox, hydro box, and a fire hydrant. But in 2008, the new bylaw came into effect, forcing the homeowner to mow the strip of land. It is absolute slavery. I'm not getting a reduction in tax. I'm not getting uh, any compensation. Should I be hurt? So he lets the boulevard grass grow long and has even seen increases on his property taxes every time a city crew is forced to do the job. And he's heard an earful from neighbors. It's a Why can't you cut your lawn though? Doesn't matter. Why can't the city cut their lawn? It's their property. For the time he takes to cut this to keep the neighborhood nice where everybody else does. I think you should cut your lawn. But Hikeaway refuses to maintain property that isn't his and plans to prove the rules are unfair. What's the next bylaw going to be? Change your light bulb in the, in the street lights, pay for the electricity for the streets? Hikeaway goes to court August 9th, where he'll find out if the grass is in fact greener on the other side of the law. Nicole Dubay, Sun News, Winnipeg.